Next, we're going to hear from Judah Eskender to Farai. No weapon of farm against me shall ever prosper. Now I gotta be my mind that can drink of the Lord. Judah Eskender Tafari, a brand new release from a classic artist who started his days in Studio One. Uh, you've heard uh, some of Judah's music that we played over the years, uh, and uh, I'm very pleased to welcome in the studio right now Judah Eskender Tafari. Welcome again to Reggae Central. Thank you so much, Mr. Chuck Foster. It's very good to be here, and thank you so much. Great to have you here, and great to have a brand new release from you. It, uh, uh, they're few and far between, and it's really <laughs> wonderful uh, to thank have you. some new, new music from you to play on the show. Yes. Yeah, man, well, you know, well, first I'm going to say greetings to the whole wide world, and then greetings to all California. California being a blessing, you know, give thanks. Yeah, give thanks to be here, and and to be, you know, alive on the air with the people. Wonderful, wonderful. Tell us a little bit about your background. Uh, uh, you came from Jamaica. Tell us where you were born, where you grew up in Jamaica, before you really started doing music. Okay, well, uh, before I started doing music, you know, I was born in, in the University of the West Indies, which they call UWI, 
you know, that's a very famous at, place. At, at Mona? Mona, yes. That's where I was born, right? You were here. born there. <laughs> wow. I'm, I've talked to people who were born in many parts of Jamaica. I don't think I've ever spoken to yeah. anyone who was actually born there. That's where I was there. born, in the yeah. UWI, University huh. of the West Indies. Was this, you, you, did they have a hospital facilities there? Yes, or they you, have yeah. a hospital. Oh, yeah, I see, hospital yeah. right here. It's yeah. a beautiful campus. I spent oh, a little yeah, time there a couple great. of years ago. You yeah, know, I exercise a lot down at the... Mona Common, and you know that's where I used to play soccer and do a lot of running and stuff. Great exercising. That's where I, I did. And, and what about music? Because you really were an early Studio One artist. Yes, I was in my teen years you know, at the time, you know. But I I started playing the guitar at the early age, like sixteen, you know, uh -huh. learning to play the guitar, and you know I had no singing aspiration at that time. You know, so the guitar is really what take me to all the rest of the parts of, in music, you know. Wonderful, wonderful. And this song that we just played, this is a remake of one of the songs that you originally did originally at Studio did One. At Studio One, yes. Yeah. That one was actually created by, you know, Earl Bagger Walker. He's the one who started playing that bass line. Uh-huh. Do doom boo doom bing dicky 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 uh -huh. and you know, everyone falling and create that song, you know, and I, and I went and wrote the lyrics to it. Excellent, yeah. excellent. <clears throat> yeah, you know. So, so let's talk about the new album, and uh, uh, you have someone with you. Uh, uh, why yeah. don't you introduce yourself? Yeah, hello, my name is Paul. I'm the producer and percussionist on this record. And, excellent. Um, I've been working with Judah now on this album for a few years, and um, finally come to Apex where we can finally play it live and let the people hear the music. So, Fantastic. Yeah. And I want to say that uh, uh, Judah brought in three copies of this album, and we have them available for a pledge of $50, as we are in Fundrive right now. So those of you who are listening, hearing some music from this album, uh, you, we have a limited number, just three copies of this album, and Judah, since he's here in the studio, is going to sign these for you. 818-985-5735 is the number to call to support Reggae Central and KPFK and to pick up a copy of the Judah Eskinda the Skinder Tafari album on vinyl. Yes. This is a beautiful vinyl pressing, nice thick plastic, and uh, we want to hear another song, and then we're going to come back and speak live some more with Judah and Paul. Give that. Shoulder, yes, yes, and you cannot say you never did hear. Oh, no, no, you just can't say you never did hear. You tune in to Reggae Central on KPFK 90.7 FM. And we'll be right back with music from Judah Eskender Tafara. Blessed are the poor, yeah. Uh, show some feeling for the homeless man. If it's in your palm. Some feeling for the airless man. If it's in your power, show an helping hand. Mm. No one knows what tomorrow brings. What tomorrow brings. Uh -huh. Spring, summer, autumn, and winter coming. Winter uh -huh. coming. Not every day the sun shines bright, no. Sometimes it's gray and cloudy outside. Show some feeling for the airless man. If it's in your power, give an helping hand. Oh, some feeling for the homeless man. If it's in your power, show an helping hand. The good you do, my friend, surely come back to you again. Uh -huh. Truly hope that you will understand. 
Show some love, show that you got a heart today. Some feeling for the homeless man. If it's in your power, give an helping hand. Oh, show some feeling for the helpless man. Mm-hmm. If it's in your power, show an helping hand. Tomorrow bring it. No. Spring, summer, autumn, winter coming. Mm. Not every day the sun shine bright. Uh. Sometimes it's gray and cloudy outside. Show some feeling for a homeless man. If it's in your power, show an helping hand, yeah, some feeling for the helpless man. If it's in your power, give an helping Judah Eskinder Tafari, and the song is called Feeling. Judah, uh, tell me a little bit about... Uh, I know you continued to record after you left Studio One, so tell me, tell me, uh, pick up a little for me on what happened to you after the Studio One days. Yes, well, after the Studio One days, you know, I never run around with too much different producers. I actually was just, you know, waiting for the right time and on the right people to work with. You know, I had more desire to work with, like, Rasta people and conscious people, you know. Yes, and yeah. that's uh, and that Rasta message and the signification is imbued in all of your music. Yes, you know. So I was looking to really work with a, a conscious producer, you know, one of one of my kind of people. Which you know, it's like that weight was like you know really terrible because you know there's one Rasta man I get to work with, but you know he worked to a certain point and then. You know, he actually gave up on the whole thing. You oh, know? uh-huh. So, because he never finished, you know, pushing the thing to fruition. You know, so basically, you know, that all those songs are still there, sitting down. People don't even hear them. You recorded songs. and and yeah. they're still in the vault, yeah. and never released. And who you know, who was I, that producer? Is it somebody we would know, or you want to? Yeah, I don't even care to want to. Yeah, mention. okay, that's good. Yeah, but um, yeah. you know, it's not just him. There's another one again, who so called Rasta. So. I uh-huh. spent many hours working, you know, did an album also. So that's like two albums just... Right, you know. kind of lost. Yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. you did uh, do some recording after you left Jamaica. Sure, in, you in know, Europe there was and... another album I did, you know, in London, you know, uh-huh. with uh, A-Class Studio, Gossipy, uh-huh. you know. And what was that album called? Uh, yeah, it was named after the, after my song, Rastafari, I tell you. Yeah, and there was also a release called The Builder, uh, and yeah, that was a that, little later that was than one that. of the albums I was just mentioning. Oh, uh huh. I see. Yeah, you know. You know so um, mm-hmm. yeah, that was an album also. So it's like four albums. You know, I also did another one since I came to California. Uh huh. You know, my first album I wrote when I came here. Right. You know, I, I put it in the hands of another brother again. You know. Right. And you know, he been having this album like you know, so long now that. This album that I just finished mm-hmm. came years after I gave this prejudice. Right. A lot of people album, don't really realize know. it's not necessarily up to an artist how much of their music gets out. And even in the Coxon days, a lot mm-hmm. of artists, well-known stories with uh, producers Coxon, yeah. Augustus Pablo, of people mm-hmm. recording entire albums that either never came never out came or came didn't out. come out yeah. for years later. So I give thanks that you, you have this brand new release out on the Reagan yeah, label. We're going to hear another song label, and know. we're going to talk some more live in the studio with Judah Eskender Tafari. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything will be iry, everything will be tight. Pay attention to the music. For in it there is a message. Lift up your feet, move to the beat. Rejoice, it is a new day. Spirits lifting high, way up to the sky. Children crying for freedom, yeah. 
Judah Eskender Tafari, and that is Pay Attention. And we're also joined in the studio now by another member of the team, Adrian. Why don't you uh, let the people know that you're here? Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> All right. Great <laughs> to have you here. <laughs> yeah, well, enough Excellent. respect, Eddie. You know, you know, I want you know in a choke. This is the guy that really, you know, relate me to everybody I know, in, including Paul, because uh-huh. I never know Paul is Adrian. Is the in the introducer? You know, he Excellent. introduces me to the dub club, even. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 Great. This is the guy. He always great. take me here. And Judah, you Wednesday. you have a show coming up, don't you? Is that uh, yes, mid November? Um, I believe. Yeah, we're doing a release party for this album. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Great. Actually, the thirteenth of November, you know, which is next month coming up. Fabulous. So, All right. Yeah, we have an rehearsal this evening, trying to put some things together. So right tell now. me a little bit about putting this album together. Mm-hmm. Uh, this album came along out of years of trying to put something together and finally happened. Uh, we were just recording music and then we were talking with Judah about vocals and we would give him sessions of w- rhythms of stuff to put on. And then he finally said, hey, you know what, let's just go to the studio and we'll track some of your old classics and then you just come in and bring some of your tunes. And and that's how this record came about. Excellent. So, yeah, it was, it's been a long process. It took us a couple of years to get to this record point, but I'm glad... It went that way. You know? Well, and you know, it, it shows in the quality of the album. The sound, the music sounds really good. The vocals sound great. It's right. relaxed. It's natural. And it sounds like a record from Yard in cool. the day, cool. you know. Yeah, right and that, that's what you're really trying to achieve here, you right. know, uh, because you have such a classic artist with Judah Skinner Tafara. I mean, right. a, a, a kind of mysteriously legendary artist because so many people knew him for just a handful. I mean, I had, I think, five Studio One singles right. uh, for years and years and years. That's all I knew of Judah before right. I ever saw that there were some 12 inch singles that mm-hmm. came out of mm-hmm. Europe, you know. Right, so. Right. So to me, to have a man like Judah Eskinder Tafari in the studio, mm-hmm. to have a brand new album of, of solid, righteous Rasta music, you right, know, right. and put together by a group of young people who clearly care, you mm-hmm. know, about them. You're, you're all young to me. Oh, hey. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> I think I'm young, too. So. And, and I want to remind our listeners that we do have a small number of copies of the Judah Eskender Tafari album that we're offering for a pledge of $50. Judah has kindly signed each one of these albums, and you can pick them up for a pledge of $50 by calling 818-985-5735. We are in Fun Drive. We're taking a little moment to celebrate a great artist and some brand new music here so i want to squeeze in some more music play a track called jehovah from the brand new album from judah askender to farai Oh, yeah. 
Thank you very much for the calls. All three of those albums have been taken. 818-985-5735 is the number to call. You can still pledge your support. Pick up the Reggae Central Pack. 818-985-5735 is the number to call. We are speaking live in the studio with Judah Askender Tafara and a couple of the people who helped to put this album together. Judah sounds very nice, man. Thank you so much, brother. Let's uh, let the people know how they can get a hold of this album now since uh, all of ours are gone. Uh, yes. Uh, people want to uh, buy this album. How can you know, where can where Paul, it? can you get them some yeah. up to date information? Um, you can go to the website, uh, reiganrecords.com. That's www.rhyginrecords.com. You can go there directly and buy it from us directly. Um, we are going to be stocking them in Amoeba shortly. Uh-huh. We're working on that. And uh, in the meantime, you can go to, go to the website, buy them directly. Um, keep checking your record shops because uh, we got Brother Adrian on the ball right now. He's dropping them right. off at all the record shops. Definitely. Excellent. And, um, right. you know, as in overseas, they're being distributed in Juno Records and in Dub Vendor right now in the U.K. So all our Good friend records. of mine, Ray Herford from England, uh, called me up and told me it was a great album. He had just listened to it. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're going over overseas right now, and we're just trying to get them planted here in America because uh, this is from California, so we're trying to get them to our people here first. So. Wonderful, right. wonderful. But well, yeah, uh, we're working yeah, on it. Yeah, so, that, yeah, That's fantastic. Cool. I greatly appreciate your coming down and sharing the information and the music with us. And, of course, we got going to be playing some more music from this album awesome. in the upcoming awesome. weeks. Uh, uh, Judah, great to have you here. Great to see you. Looking forward to seeing your live performance coming up. Thank you so much. You know, and people do remember the thir- um, the thirteenth of November, right in the Dub Club, LA. We were there live and direct. Bless All right, we're going to play one more track from this album, and it is the song called "Why." Thank you so much for being here. Most blessed. Won't hold it back no more. We told you before, yeah. Because we know your judgment is sure. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do the even rain? And the people imagine a vain thing. Why do the heathen rage? And the people imagine a vain thing. Oh, can the blind lead the blind? What's happening to mankind? Can't 
you read the big, big sign. Oh, I, they must have really controlled your mind. Yes, they must have really controlled your mind. Why do the even rage and the people imagine a big thing? Why do the even rage and the people imagine such vain things? Ja have them in his region. Hurry up, make your decision. Ja have them in this region. There's nowhere they can run. Brimstones and fire for the wicked them. Oppose your works, you must be condemned. Yeah. Lightning and thunder. For all the wicked men You tuned into Reggae Central on KPFK 90.7 FM. That was Judah Eskender Tafari, his brand new album. And it is called Long Suffering. That was the song called Why It's Out New on the Reagan label. And we are in Fun Drive. We want to remind you that you are listening to KPFK.